Hey guys, it's DC here and today we're going over the top five best ethical hacking or bug bounty laptops of 2020. So I've prepared a list of my top five favorite laptops uh, organized in absolutely no particular order because I thought they were all equally as good as each other and uh, just for you guys to sort of make your choices from these top five. I will say straight away though that the MacBook Pro is definitely not in the list this year. So uh, if you're thinking of getting a MacBook Pro for ethical hacking, that's great. It's just not a great choice. The sort of things I'm looking at here are the same as last year's, which is uh, the processing power, the amount of memory it has, uh, what sort of GPU it's running, if it's got an SSD or not, hopefully it does in this day and age and the sort of uh, battery power life you get from the laptop so that you can do some remote sort of hacking because that's the whole point of a, a laptop when you're doing ethical hacking, right? So the first laptop is the Alienware Gaming AW17R5 with a lot of other characters following it. Um, as you can see here, it's got an eighth generation i7 uh, six core, nine megabit cache, uh, and a 3.9 gigahertz turbo boost CPU, which is pretty cool. Uh, it has one 8 gig uh, stick of memory, which I know you're probably thinking, why not 16? But um, to be honest, it's just the base model. So I wanted to include it because you can upgrade it to 16 gig and uh, it's definitely worth having a look at. If it was me getting, I would definitely include the 16 gig memory. It's running a 17.3 inch screen, which is awesome. Uh, especially if you uh, want it as like a desktop replacement. The only problem with that is that it's quite heavy uh, and the battery life kind of sucks. They say it's around seven to 10 hours, but I'd say it's more like three hours when you're actually using it, if that. As you can guess from this uh, laptop's name, it is definitely made for gaming, um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Gaming laptops are very good at doing other things like ethical hacking or uh, doing bug bounties or crunching uh, through massive word lists with a uh, hashcat or something similar. Okay, the next laptop is the HP Pavilion 15. Now, this one is obviously a 15 inch screen. Uh, it's got an i7-7500, which is a 3.5 gigahertz uh, processor. It doesn't have the turbo boost up to 3.9 gigahertz, but you know, it doesn't really even click over that unless you're, uh, like I said before, crushing through massive word list with a uh, hashcat or something similar. This one comes with 12 gig of RAM, which I thought was a little bit interesting instead of the uh, conventional eight or 16, but 12 is sort of good medium level uh, on the memory. Uh, it's got a 15 inch screen, the Intel graphics 620, which to be honest is a little bit lacking, definitely not as good as the uh, Alienware gaming machine but um, its battery life is also only around seven hours. So this one is much more of a budget option uh, if you want to go with uh, an ethical hacking laptop. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a good choice though if you're sort of running on a budget. The next laptop on the list is the Acer Aspire E15, which is another 15 inch laptop. It comes with the eighth generation Core i5-8250U processor which uh, does turbo boost up to 3.4 gigahertz. It comes stock with eight gig of RAM, but that can be upgraded to 16 gigabyte as well. Uh, 15 hours of battery life, apparently. But um, like I said with the first one, it's uh, you're probably more likely to get around seven or even less than that, maybe five hours of battery life when actually using it. Got a 256 gig SSD drive, and um, yeah, again, this is a much more budget laptop than that Alienware gaming machine, which is definitely by far in this list, the best one here. It doesn't mention it on this list here, but it's also got a pretty average graphics card, um, very similar to that uh, HP Pavilion. So um, yeah, I guess if you're looking at, um, you know, going through massive word lists, uh, using Hashcat or pretty much any reversing software that's gonna require a lot of processing power, um, this probably isn't the laptop for you, but it's still a good budget choice. The next one on the list is the Asus VivoBook S. Now, I put this one in the list because um, I do like a 14 inch screen and um, the backlit keyboard is something I like as well. It's, uh, it's essentially a really 
cheap and better version of a MacBook Pro. It's got a whole bunch of ports uh, standard, which is nice to see these days because a lot of laptops just have like, similar to a MacBook Pro, they have the Thunderbolt connection or a USB-C connection, which then you have to connect into something else, like a little docking station type thing. Um, but this one comes with the uh, eighth generation Core i7-8550U, which is an excellent CPU and the GeForce MX150 graphics card, which is again a really good graphics card for a laptop. Comes standard with 8 gig of RAM and a 256 gig SSD, but you can upgrade the SSD to a one terabyte and the memory up to 16 gig. This is probably one of my favorites on the list, uh, bang for buck. But um, yeah, I guess it's up to you on what you can afford and what you can get. It's still definitely not as good as that Alienware gaming PC though. The last Laptop on this list is the Lenovo ThinkPad T480. Now this one comes with a uh, i5-8250, which is turbo boost up to 3.4 gigahertz. Uh, it's a 14 inch screen, which I like. Uh, 500 gig to one terabyte a hard drive or SSD. You can pick and choose on the website. 16 to 32 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 is the standard. 32 gig is the upgrade, obviously massive and battery life of around 10 hours i'd say it's more likely five uh, from some people i know who've got one but um yeah it's still a great laptop comes with lots of ports which is nice it doesn't have a backlit keyboard which is unfortunate i guess but not the end of the world and the graphics card is slightly average however this machine is fast the amount of memory that you can install here so you go for a 32 gig option and it's absolutely flying with a 256 uh, gig SSD. And um, the graphics card is, yeah, it's pretty much the same as all the other ones apart from that Alienware Gaming one, which has an awesome graphics card. But um, to be honest, this one was probably in around third place for me uh, based on the memory and I like the, the touch and feel of the ThinkPads. They're pretty sturdy machines. Their warranty is really good as well. And um, it sounds like I'm sponsored by these guys or something, but I swear to God, I'm not. I just really like this laptop. So for me, I guess the uh, Alienware machine is the winner, closely followed by the Asus and then the uh, Lenovo ThinkPad. I don't really like HP machines much and the same with Acer. I just don't like them that much, but I thought I'd throw them on the list anyway, just for you guys to have a look at and choose from. And uh, yeah, I'm keen to see what you guys would suggest. I'm sure some people in here are going to say, why wouldn't you choose the Razer? And um, it's just overpriced. It's it's even more expensive than that Alienware machine. I, I don't know, I'm just not a big fan of the fans and the machine in general. It seems a bit of a, a gimmick to me personally, but hey, you guys choose whatever you like. Uh, these are my suggestions for the top five uh, ethical hacking or bug bounty laptops of 2020. I'd love to hear what you guys have to mention, so please do throw it down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more if you're new here. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Catch you later.